Lord knows I wish I could slow down time. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on time remapping in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. And it's time to remap time. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to get great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Time remapping lets you ramp up and ramp down changes in speed using keyframes. As I stated in my previous slow motion videos, the higher the frame rate, the smoother the slow motion and the smoother the fast motion will be. For this video, my timeline is set to 24p. And you can go here to your timeline settings. If I hover over it, you'll see my resolution, my frame rate, and that is progressive. And if I click on this, can also see the same settings here. So it's 20, the frame rate is 24 and it's progressive. So I'm gonna click on apply. Now my video clip needs to be a higher frame rate than my timeline is. So the video clip that I'm using is down in the timeline and it's called what an entry 60 FPS and that is 60 frames per second. So if I go here, you see the check mark is shown here, which means that this is a video clip that is in the timeline. If I right click on this, I can go down to display information. And here you will also see if I scroll down that it has the frame rate listed here where it says frames and it's 60 frames per second. I'm gonna close this out. So if I want to calculate how slow I can make this clip go and still remain smooth, because I can slow it down all I want to. I can use a 24 frames per second clip or a 30 frames per second clip and I can slow it down. It doesn't stop me from making slow motion. It stops me from having smooth slow motion. So I want to say, hey, how slow can I make this and still have it be smooth? So if I go to do my calculation, I take my timeline frame rate, which is 24 frames per second, and I divide that by my clip frames per second, which is 60, and that equals 0.4. So that's 40%. So I can slow this clip all the way down from 100% to 40% and still be smooth. If I go lower than that, then I'm probably gonna have dropped frames, okay? And it's not going to look as smooth. Now, when you talk about speeding up the clip, how fast can I make my clip go? So to calculate that, I actually just do the opposite. I take the frame rate of my video and I divide that by my timeline frame rate, which is 24. And it tells me I can make this video go 2.5 times as fast. So if 100% is regular speed, then I can go up to 250% of speed. So now that we know that, I know how fast I can make it go. I can make it go all the way up from 100% up to 250 and it still looks smooth. And I can go as far as 100% down to 40 for slow motion and it still looks smooth. So you will need to go ahead and use whatever clip frame rate and timeline you want for your calculations. Just remember that for slow motion, you take your frame rate of your timeline divided by the frame rate of your clip, whatever those numbers are. And for fast motion, you take the frame rate of your clip and divide it by the frame rate of your timeline. Okay? That's enough math class for today. All right? So as I play this clip on the timeline, you see that this guy in this clip is doing his thing. All right? He's bringing it right now. And... He's getting his dance on. So what I want to do is speed up through some of these moves that he's doing and slow things down 
through some of his other moves so we can really see the intricacies of what he's doing. All right. So in order to access the time remapping feature so that I can slow things down and speed things up, I need to click on the clip to activate it. And you see the orange box around it, which means that it's active. Now I want to go up here to editor. And now I want to go over here to time remapping. So the first thing you need to choose is if you want to have a anchor frame or if you want to use stretch. Now, when you select anchor frame, when the clip is trimmed on the timeline, the speed will be adjusted so that whatever you choose as the anchor frame remains at the same position on the timeline. If you choose stretch, then when the clip is trimmed on the timeline, the speed will be adjusted so that the first frame and last frame are always at the start and the end of the clip. So for this tutorial, I'm going to choose anchor frame and I'm going to select first frame as my anchor. Now under the video section, I'm going to choose smooth motion and there is no audio in this, so I'm not going to choose whole pitch. Now, next thing I need to do is add my keyframes where I want to change the speed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the enable keyframes to add a keyframe at the beginning. And I'm going to leave this first keyframe at hundred percent because the first part of the video, I want to play at regular speed. So I'm going to move my playhead to a position. And I think that's pretty good there where I want to add my next keyframe. So, for my next keyframe, I want this to still be a hundred because I want it to play at regular speed for that whole duration. So I'm going to just add another keyframe here instead of changing anything. Now, the next thing I want to do is ramp the speed up to 250% because we know that's the fastest I can make it go. So I'm going to choose a position where I want it to start being 250%. And that looks good right there. And I'm going to go here and instead of clicking on the add keyframe, I'm just going to type in 250 and hit enter and it will add a keyframe. And you can see that it went up from 100 to 250. And now I want it to stay at 250 for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to find a new spot in here that I can add another keyframe. And I think that's good there. So since I still want it to be 250, I'm not going to type anything in. I'm just going to click on the add a keyframe. So from here to here, it's going to stay in fast speed throughout that whole time period. And now I want to slow it down. So I'm going to pick a position where I want to ramp it down to a slow speed. And it looks good there. So I will let it gradually go down to 40%. So here, I will type in 40 and hit enter. So what it's gonna do, as we can see, it's gonna play at 100%, then it's gonna ramp up to 250 and it's gonna play at 250, and then it's gonna ramp down to 40%. So now I want it to play at the same speed for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to move my playhead forward. I think that's good there. And I will just add another keyframe here because I want it to stay in slow motion at this position. And then I want it to ramp back up to regular speed. So I'm going to choose a spot to do that. And this is pr just as good here as anywhere else. So now I will type in 100 because I want it to go back to 100%. So what will happen is it's going to play at 100%, then it's going to speed up, play at a fast speed, then it's going to slow down, play at a slow speed, then it's going to speed back up and play at regular speed. Now that I'm done adding all of my time wrapping on here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on library. And then when you're done, you just export your video and it will look as beautiful as this.
right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Lorette906. Lorette906 makes Metal Gear Solid videos on his YouTube channel. So if you're into Metal Gear Solid and you want to check out some of those videos, head over to his channel, watch a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Laura at 906 did, go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial that you'd like us to make, go to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it, it lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.